days afterwards I started real bad and I was like I needed to go my eyes were irritating my throat was uh, closed up chest was tight couldn't breathe I was coughing up gray stuff and so I just had to go to the hospital I said what is this and they quarantined me and that's when everything went haywire and put me on the breathing machine and oxygen tank and everything and they kept me in there for four hours to kind of keep an eye out on me and it's still I mean even with all that the steroids and this it's still <laughs> here <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Gosh. where was the hospital? I would like to see justice done to these people to the animals to the people who have children you gotta drink this water gotta live on this soil and, and who may or may not have be able to even live out their lives in their home. All three of my nieces, two of the two twins, uh, Stella and Jenna, they both have chemical burns of their lungs. They just got diagnosed two days ago and her sister as well. Her brother has high liver enzymes at this point. And all these are just, in, and at first it just seemed like it was okay. And it's not like a lot of situations where immediately you feel the impacts of what you just inhaled or whatever, or whatever virus you are carrying. This is just now starting to affect the people. And they found approximately 38,222 small fish and about 5,500 other species were dead and potentially killed as a result of this incident here. Now, a number of officials are still going to be testing uh, some of the air as well. A number of area residents have complained of dealing with not only some issues uh, with breathing, but also to their faces as well as with some irritation as well here. This close to the, the train derailment, I don't trust it. Residents of East Palestine, Ohio, where a train derailed and spilled toxic chemicals earlier this month, expressed anger and concern on Friday after a plume of pollution moved down the Ohio River. I am frustrated. Here I am. I just moved seven months ago. I busted my ass to make this place look like it does. And I gotta move. Because I'm not safe being here. There is no way we are safe being here. Ted Murphy told Reuters that he and his 80-year-old mother are now looking for a new place to live. There's nothing in there, is there? Despite state health officials' insistence that the town of nearly 5,000 is a safe place to be. We're not getting any truth. They, the, they are not going to own up to what's going in there until they are forced to. Ohio Governor Mike DeWine said Friday that pollution in the Ohio River, a source of drinking water for 5 million people, had now dissipated, and that state testing never showed that any contaminated water entered any municipal drinking systems. You know the science indicates that this water is safe, the air is safe. But we also know very understandably that residents of East Palestine are concerned. Deb Blair, a cashier at the Sparkle Market in East Palestine, says bottled water has been flying off the shelves. Water is the big thing here right now. Everybody is wanting water. They don't want to drink the water. They don't want to give it to their animals, you know. This is worse than what everybody thought it was. And the people in town are afraid. The Biden administration said on Friday that it was sending more resources, including a team of medical personnel and toxicologists, to conduct public health testing and assessments.